Hi everyone, this is Ram Babu Vasupilli, CEO of NCPL Group of Companies. Today I would like to come forward with a topic, how to identify if the interview that is scheduled is a technical interview or a non-technical or a behavioral interview or a semi-technical interview. Okay, many a time what we do is when we get a interview request, so we scratch our heads thinking whether it is technical one or are we going to get technical questions there or is he going to get only ask the behavioral questions or some questions about our profile or if he's going to ask both technical and behavioral so I, I have uh, some tips in this video that I can give you um, whenever you get any meeting invite okay, 95 percent of the times people schedule uh, interviews by sending a meeting invite you will get a Google Meet or a Teams Meet calendar invite uh, where you clearly know who has sent that invite and you will also see uh, in the description or in the CC of that invite they will clearly mention who is going to interview you. So in such case um, try to find out the names of all the people from the meeting invite who has sent the meeting invite and who are all in the meeting in white and check also the description so in these three sections you will come to know whether who has who is scheduled to do your interview number two is um, from their names try to search their linkedin profile so if the linkedin profile says he is a hr or a recruiter then it means he is a non-technical person and check also the keep an eye on the duration of the interview so if the duration of interview sometimes it can be 15 minutes sometimes it can be 30 minutes sometimes it can be 45 minutes and sometimes it can be one hour very rarely it will be like one and a half or two hours so you have to check the names you have to make a note of the duration of the interview and then from the names you have to go and check the linkedin profiles uh, of the people whose names you have collected so some tips I have observed based on uh, my observation you know, from past uh, uh, mentoring of the candidates is that if the person who has sent the interview is a HR or a recruiter and there is nobody else in that meeting invite, it means the HR or the recruiter wants to have a very quick meeting online to understand your profile. So basically he will try to ask you tell about yourself what you have done in the past which companies you have done in the past and then um, what the work authorization is yours so all the basic details about you to understand your profile experience skill set what you are good at what you are bad at and what roles you have done in the past etc so from whatever information that you have given um, the recruiter will try to map whether you are a good fit for the role or not this is case one case two is let's say if you have uh, a meeting invite sent by the recruiter um, but from the name of the um, you know uh, person in the linkedin it ended up as a technical recruiter right his role is a technical recruiter with a technical recruiter many a time they sent you meeting invites for about 15 to 30 minutes so in such case some technical recruiters in fact many technical recruiters ask for some technical questions and some questions about understanding your profile so like for example they might ask you hey what kind of deployments have you done have you worked on blue green deployments um, which cloud have you worked on uh, what kind of infrastructure do you have at home some basic technical questions to understand some information about your technical skill set so it will be like more or less like a semi-technical uh, interview for 15 to 30 minutes there will be some other interviews where if the interview is at least 30 minutes and more then most probably it will be a technical interview sometimes you know even the recruiters send you by default to block their calendar some 30 to uh, 30 minutes to one hour meeting but since it is only the recruiter you have to follow the previous 
if i gave you but sometimes what happens is the recruiter uh, will send 30 minutes to 1 hour meeting and in the meeting there will be some other technical persons also so you have to see the profiles of those persons if there is anybody who is at a hiring manager level or a director level or somebody at an executive level or a senior project manager level in such case if the meeting invite is only for 30 minutes but for from these roles director senior project manager um executive level then mostly it is a meeting where it is going to be a conversation with you and that technical uh, director level or executive person to see if you are a good match for that role so it's called as a match making round also i have explained in one of the other videos so in that match making round the hiring manager tries to explain the role he will also ask you to explain your profile he will see whether your profile and the role and the requirements of the role match with each other so it's not going to be a very hardcore technical interview it is more of a match making round everything on the conversation will be technical though but at a very higher level just to see if you are a good match for the role the minute the hiring manager after the interview he realizes that you are a good fit for the role then the more de- the deep technical uh, interview will be scheduled so typically these match making rounds last for 30 minutes so if it is 30 minutes and the interview is from a senior project manager level or a junior level or an executive level then in such case you can understand that it is a technical conversation there will be some interviews which last again for 30 minutes to 1 hour and those interviews uh, the names of the person if they show senior uh, uh, technical lead or technical lead or um, technical manager in such cases it is going to be a hardcore technical round where you will be asked to you know answer the technical questions scenarios and sometimes they might ask you a tricky questions related to some technical issues so they expect you to answer everything technically in a star method so these are hardcore technical questions where you should prepare really really well if there are any other interviews like coding round or any presentations or a case study then the recruiter or the hr will exclusively mention that you have to come prepared to share the screen do some test or you know write some code or um fix some code so whatever the, so at least in canada they will tell you well ahead no 90% of the cases they will inform you well ahead so this is how you have to identify um, what kind of interview it is based on the duration of the interview uh, who are the interviewers and the profile of the interviewers based on linkedin and uh, the designation of those interviewers okay i hope this video is helpful for you feel free to share it with your friends they will also learn these tips and if you wanted to set up an appointment with me please feel free to uh, check the link in the description of this video and i'll be able to uh, schedule a call thank you so much